Assalamu alaikum dear viewers this is Sayyid Fawad and you're watching Literary Lodge by Read Pakistan and once again I'm here to send you the best and the latest about education. I've recently come across the latest article in the economics magazine Global. It says that there are three basic challenges that are being faced globally regarding education and of course the educationists. The thing is when you have three basic factors to work on the resources align themselves by and you need to sort of put up a plan into execution. Unfortunately after the pandemic there has been a massive change in order to accommodate these three basic factors. The first factor in particular is about mass illiteracy. So ladies and gentlemen, what is mass illiteracy itself? Particularly global children and of course the ones which are particular in the primary education are not putting up with the latest accreditations, curriculums, why is that? Because the institutions that are around are not providing absolute resources that are necessary on that primary stage. Hence, what happens in a matter of years or maybe decades, things slip out of hands and people lose control. This is why most Effectively, after the pandemic, the first factor which came into progress was about mass illiteracy. People need to join hands and they did. So currently, the database is increasing. We are getting a good global solution for mass population global to get educated evenly. Well, to balance more, there are many certifications required by institutions now, especially in the European and Far East Asian countries. They are already implementing it. This is great because there will be a time when everything will be clear. The second factor is about primary educational problems. What is primary education to be precise again? The lower classes where toddlers try and do their best to get promoted to an upper level after their kindergarten. That's primary education. Now what do we have Primary education, basically, institutions are not well equipped. According to the Economics Global, there are many accreditations that are being missing. And because of it, the profiles of institutions lapse. And they don't put forward their rightful, hard effort to improve their situation. What happens in return? Primary education gets disturbed. So again, this is a matter of concern. And I wish there are many institutions that will basically take care of this. Third and last, according to the Economics Global, there has been a massive change in the fee structure. Tuition fees was not supposed to rapidly increase the way it did after the pandemic. Many of the institutions charged even though they were closed. This has hugely affected communities around the globe, especially in the US and the UK, where people were cordoned and they were under strict restrictions of the COVID-19. They could not move out and hence the situation got worse. Institutions kept on running on the monetary basis, but in practical, in actuality, there wasn't any education present. This is why 
the educational standards have risen up and have become expensive. So what are we going to do about it? Yes, most certainly, many of the institutions are going to look forward to lack of enrollments. If students don't enroll themselves, the semesters will go out and eventually the institute will crash. We don't want that to happen, yes? So ladies and gentlemen, this was the latest concern. In my next program tomorrow, I'm going to tell you what are the solutions being taken up by the digital educational services around the globe. It's a matter of concern because many of us did not invest enough time. We need to look into it and together we can make a difference. That's all for today. I'll be back again tomorrow with the latest in Pakistan about education. Till then, we'll meet again. Never forget to read a book every time you reach your bed for sleep. Thank you very much for joining. Read Pakistan, Zindabad.